video tutorial on how to play White Horse by Taylor Swift. So I'm going to show you the beginning part, which is you form a C chord, and a C chord is your first your pointer finger on the second string first fret, your middle finger on the fifth, fourth string second fret, and your ring finger on the fifth string third fret. And then you're just going to add your pinky onto the first string third fret. Then you're going to leave um, your all your fingers on except for the ring finger. You're going to switch onto the next string, which is the fourth string third fret. Then you're going to take off your ring finger and leave the rest on. And then you're going to put your um, your ring finger back onto the 4th string 3rd fret. All together it sounds like. Four, four times, then the fifth time you do the C chord, like like normal C chord with the pinky on it. So you're gonna go and then switch the ring finger onto the fourth string third fret. Now you're gonna slide all the way down to the fifth fret. So. right here and do a C chord and then you're gonna and you, there's no pinky on this one. Okay so now for to do this to do that you're for the first chord that I showed you you're gonna hit the fifth string with your thumb, the first string with your ring finger, and the second string with your middle finger. And then you're just going to pull up. And then you're going to hit the first string with your uh, ring finger, the second string with your middle finger, and the first string. I mean the third string with your pointer finger, so. And then the next chord, for the next chord you're going to hit the fourth string with the first and second string. So just use your thumb for the fourth string and the same, the two, same fingers for the other two. And then you're going to take off. When you take when you do the next chord, you're gonna hit the open fi uh, fifth string with the two the two other strings, so the first and second string, and then the next chord, same thing, the fourth string and the first and second string. Then when you when you do, once you do that four times, um, you're gonna on the fifth time you're gonna go then you're gonna, when you slide down to the fifth fret and do a C, you're gonna go like you're gonna hit the fifth string and the third and second string. So you're gonna, and then, so then the chorus goes C, and then it goes A minor. So keep your first finger on the same string, 
and put your middle finger on the fourth fret, I mean fourth string, second fret, and your ring finger on the third string, second fret. And then an F. So you're gonna keep you're still gonna keep that first finger on the same string and put your middle finger on the third string second fret and your ring finger on the uh, fourth string third fret and then you're going to do a G so take off all your fingers now and put your uh, middle finger on the sixth string third fret your ring finger on the second string third fret your pinky on the first string third fret and your pointer finger on the 5th string, 2nd fret. So then the chorus goes. to come around, you go so that's A minor, G, F so the strumming pattern for the chorus is so I'll, I'll play through the chorus just to show you, so it's 